Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna do a detailed review about uh, this uh, ALR rifle, bolt action rifle from the ATA Arms, uh, which I believe is uh, in Turkey. It's from Turkey. So I think this is the first uh, three or maybe two. Turkish uh, boat action rifle that has been imported into US. Well, Turkey uh, uh, was uh, well known about their shotguns. They build all kinds of shotguns like uh, semi auto pump action and uh, those like uh, double barrels and recently well actually not recently I think uh, relatively five years ago they start to export the boat, boat action rifle uh, unfortunately there was not many information online even on their official website about their how, I mean, what's the structure of their their rifle and the, and the, how does it made or it's you can't find any detail. Unfortunately, I I don't know why. And uh, even on the on the YouTube, there were I think three or four videos totally about this rifle, and one of them are from their official. Uh, from their manufacturer was like just the in introduction and uh, two or three are either like uh, open box or like shooting in the shooting range from the video that the guy shooting it I think this rifle is uh, kind of accurate so but, but by the way all the modern action rifle is kind of accurate these days especially the one with uh, aluminum ch chassis so the first time I saw this rifle I kind of think this maybe is a Turkish copy of the ac early accuracy international AW series rifle and uh, after I bought this one uh, it proves that I was right. So I have a, a Accuracy International AT308 here, and uh, and the and this is their boat. This is from the Accuracy International. This is the ALR. The AT-08 is the latest uh, Accuracy International rifle, so it features a six lugs bolt head. But in the early AW mode uh, rifle, it was like a three lugs bolt, just like this one. And uh, from from the here, you can see. It's pretty much same structure, and their lens and their diameter are exactly the same. See, and uh, well, their receiver are pretty much also exactly the same lens. I just measure it. Also, the there's very minor difference like uh, the safety on the Accuracy International Rifle is on the end of the, the boat and uh, on the ARR Rifle the safety is on the receiver but it's also uh, sweep position safety like uh, safety with the, the boat well this is fire and uh, the middle one is a safety but you can move the boat and then the last one is safety with the bolt lock up. 
let's see that's their both face up by the way the both both rifle was uh c08 caliber uh obviously the AR are using a different uh, looking chassis and uh, actually it's pretty good except it cannot fold they have a thumb screw and as adjust the you can lose lose by this to some screw you can adjust the check rise position and uh, how high it is the heat and the position uh, you can adjust it and also with press the button here on, on, on this side you can adjust the length of pull another one is this is very hard to open but do it. Ah, damn. I need a tool for that. If I lose this level, you can just adjust the shoulder pad position and angle. Actually, the to be honest, the feature of this chassis is pretty good. Consider the total price of the gun is like twelve hundred dollars. Now uh, it comes to the bad part of this rifle. First, the bolt. Oh, God damn, there is some dog here. Well, the bolt is almost impossible to remove once insert. The reason for that. I have to remove this thing. I already lose the remove the two action screws. The reason for that is they are both stop is somehow a little bit too long. After you insert it, it will st the your bolt will stuck there. I can show you. First insert bolt is already pain in the butt. And the remove it is also pain in the butt. I, I modified this post stop a little bit. If you have a new one, it's highly possible you cannot remove it. If uh, that happens, you have to uh, remove the rece barrel the receiver from the chassis, and uh, there is a roll pin. You have to tip it out, and then remove the post stop and re remove the bolt. Oh, by the way, you can see their sear pretty much exactly the same as the Accuracy International model just like that one if you have Accuracy International gun you know what I'm talking about uh, another best thing about this rifle is uh, the bolt in the receiver normally you can you can you will hear some people say, okay, the bolt is so small, so I kind of think for like a Tika or like style or some high-end Europe rifle. But this one is opposite of sm small. <laughs> it's not small at all. It's, it's you know, it's it's like, it's like some, some uh, it's not like sandpaper, but it's more or less like a, a two pieces of rubber is is sliding between each other. It's it's not smooth. It's, I don't know why. It's it's really really not smooth. It's hard to get it out. Okay. And one more thing, you can see the craftsmanship on this boat also not good. I don't know if if you can see this. I can. Oh, it's really hard to focus on this thing. I mean, my light. You see, there is two marking everywhere on the bow head. Yeah. Uh, well, it's. Well, just. Uh, it can compare with the original craftsmanship of the Accuracy International anyway and uh, of course its price is also not comparable uh, I think uh, 
that's all for what I have to review today. Uh, oh, by the way, the barrel is there is a little bit of sign of glue or like epoxy or something like that on the on the bar between the barrel and the receiver here. You can see or maybe that's a thread locker or something. I have uh, some concern about if you ever want to rebarrel this thing, it may not be able to do that. Uh, I believe nobody ever did that before because this gun was relatively new. Oh, by the way, it's uh, also used a double stack, double fitting magazine, just same as the Accuracy International AT. Because, well, the Accuracy International rifle was like uh, epoxied on the JC. I cannot remove it. I cannot compare these two, but you see from side to side how s similar they are. I have to say the, the Turkish just uh, pick up a very good teacher to learn from. They didn't uh, use uh, Remington or as other as everybody else. Uh, well, I'm not saying Remington is, is bad, but you know, the Accuracy International receiver is more, how to say that? Uh, it's more tough. You have m much more metal to for the thread and all kind of things. So that's all. I will bring this rifle to the shooting range, hopefully later this week, and uh, make this review a complete one. Okay. So this detail review part was done today. Hello everyone, uh, finally got a chance to a local shooting range, 100 yard, to test this uh, turkey bow action rifle to see how it shoots. Uh, the scope is a uh, Chaos K624 and I changed the model brick to the dead air. The plan is first to uh, Use some cheaper ammo to first zero the, the rifle, then clean up the barrel and use some good ammo to shoot some group and uh, check. Uh, by the way, this is my target. Those are, I think, it was like three inch targets from the Beechwood KC. Okay, we have a uh, I bought three types of ammo today to try. First is the chip ZQI that's a, that's a NATO M80 spec, but it's good enough for this one to zero. Then I'm gonna brush the bore and try some the a little bit cheaper than the good one. This one is a Hornady steel match which is a 155 grand match ammo. Well, this one is good enough to shoot some, I hope they can shoot some sub MOA group. Then I'm using, I'm gonna use some real good one, uh, FGM MM, and uh, to see how, how good this rifle can shoot. By the way, last time I forgot to mention, the trigger is pretty good, I think. The trigger is, uh, if you have ever used the stock Accuracy International trigger, this one, is, I, I think it's pretty much, I can see, identical. There is no, it's pretty small. It's two stage, first stage and second stage. Okay, give it a try. Yeah, it's pretty small, and uh, that's a similar magazine to the AW series. But it's a unfortunately, this one is a proprietary magazine. I don't know how many, I think it's five rounds. 
well, hopefully they can come up with some like 10 rounds or 15 rounds in the future. Okay, let's see how this rifle shoot. Okay, I think this one will on the target. Let's see. It's about 0.7 mil low. Okay, it's pretty much zero. And now I'm going, going to clean it up and try some good ammo. One thing I can make sure, without the folding stock, clean up the rifle is pain in the butt. You have to remove the whole check riser, then clean it. Okay, now is to Show some groups use the match ammo. First, I'm gonna try a five round of the Hornady steel match to see how I'm gonna shoot. I don't know even even this magazine can hold five round. Hopefully, it can. Ah, it's exactly five round. Okay. This round has a different zero than the previous one. Actually, it's a lot different. Anyway. It doesn't matter. I think that should go.
Okay, second group, I'm using some uh, federal gold medal match and to see how it should. By the way, I adjust the zero about half mil up to match the horn and they still match zero. Hopefully this time it will on the target. This time is too high. I don't know why. Horn and the steel target still match him or his give me a very low zero. Hmm. Strange. Okay, this one will be a four shot go on the target, unfortunately. Still not a perfect zero, but anyway, it should just shoot groups. Okay, here today is a little bit windy. I don't know if that affects this thing. Okay, that's a four shot group. Okay, let's check the target. The first one, this five group, is the Horn and the Steel Match. Somehow it's uh, one mil lower than the zero. So well, then the original, the, the NATO chip ammo zero. So I adjusted uh, the real zero based on the Horn and D1. Then I shoot this one, you can see the gold medal match landed one mil high. So then I readjusted the one mil low. This is a gold medal match for one group. Then I shoot another five round group with the gold medal match. But finally, this one is a five round group with the horn and the steel match. You can see this this gun is kind of hit on me sometimes, so I should say this is not a under one MOA rifle. Unfortunately, it's more like uh, like a 1.2 MOA rifle. Consider this one is the first bolt, the first bolt action rifle that, that's export from the Turkey. It, uh, well, they may still may need some uh, more improvement on their barrel and the chambering. I believe. Well, if I can repair that that goddamn thing, maybe it can shoot because the receiver is pretty good anyway. So, well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, Let's. Oh, by the way, I can. I think we can shoot some uh, uh, something with the suppressor on. Uh, let's see. Okay, now you can see the suppressor is installed. This is a, a dead air no mat L, which I think is pretty good on the sound. Sound 
is really good. I don't even need the, the hair protection. Let's see. Turn it off. Remove it. It's pretty much hearing safe. I think I can see. That's the last round. That's the final part of the video of today. Thank you for watching. Maybe I can show some something else next time.